First off, what we'll do is take off the hub, then we'll take off the nut on the inside, and we'll pop the whole hub off. See, there's a lot of rust in there. There's a lot of condensation. Basically, there was um, water got in there from either condensation or seal leak. So definitely need to take it apart and clean it up. This has what's called uh, a tang washer. Instead of a regular cotter pin that goes up and down, this has a little piece of metal that goes between the notches here. And you got to push this back flat, so you can take off the nut there. Sometimes, if it gets broke or caught in the hub here, sometimes beating it will get to come loose. Okay, we'll go ahead and clean this spindle off here, and then we'll put our hub back on. Okay. Give it a test fit first, make sure it all slides on pretty good. Go ahead and take it back off. And what's good is take a thin layer. It doesn't have to be much, just a little bit. Kind of help the part slide on a little bit more if it needs to. And slide that on there. And give it a little simple little spin. Sometimes you push it in and spin it, it'll go on a little bit further. So have your tang washer on. Put your cast on there. Go ahead and torque that down. And just go till it stops. Do it a few times so you get a good feel for where it stops at. You don't want to torque it down too tight because that makes bearings too tight this way and then that generates heat when your bearings come apart and you're here again. So go ahead and just back it off a few times. Just kind of just where it stops and then note what notch the tang is on. So basically I like to go one and then back it off where it stops and back off one. Tighten it down and then back it off one notch till one of these tangs lines up. Just basically just push it down. That groove right here. Give it a test spin. I should hear the, the brake linings drag a little bit, and it should spin pretty decent like that. Also, you can check it by, by squeezing alternately this way and this way. See, you got any extra play. There is some play. It's better to be on the loose side than being super tight. That's pretty good. And then the next thing is put your dust cap back on, which is a variety of different ways of doing it. Basically, you put it on here, take the side of a hammer, or use a block of wood, and you'll drive it home that way. However, you make a trip to the hardware store, get yourself a metal conduit union, pull it apart, and these threads are just the right size for this. Slide it over. And that's it. And then one last thing you want to do, air gets trapped in there, sometimes it's under pressure, so you might want to go ahead and pop that open, let the air equalize a little bit. Since we got it apart, and since this is a marine application, what you want to do is come in next with your grease gun, and then go ahead and pump this full, fill the cavity full now, and then you have all your grease inside of here. Um, again, that's for a marine application, so when you dunk it in the water, Grease repels the water, it may seep in, and it actually keeps out the condensation from happening, which happened to this one. So, and pretty much that's it, but for land trailer use, that's enough grease. Maybe give a few squirts just to make yourself feel better, and just, for good measure, and then just pop your seal on and put your wheel on, and you're good to go.